Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.3 million minutes viewed on YouTube. Hash House, a go-go, is taking over Las Vegas with the hugely popular brand that's about to open its fifth location in Sin City. So why is it so popular? Well, it's totally unique, energetic, and gives a very Las Vegas over-the-top experience. The sea tree is crazy by British standards. The restaurant is not subtle. Each portion could feed an entire family family and over half is sent back to the kitchen. The portions are insane. Located inside the Link Hotel Casino, Hash House Agogo brings its twisted farm food concept straight from Indiana Heartland to the heart of the Strip. Indulgence, waste, over-the-top, calorie portions, controlled diet are all things that Hash House Agogo laugh in the face of. This over-the-top Vegas restaurant received national attention on the Travel Channel's Man V Food, where Adam Rickman sank his teeth into the fried chicken farm Benedict, which we sample in this review. The hype continues. Hash House A Gogo has been named Best Breakfast, Best Brunch, Best Sandwich, on top of many other accolades. It's also a favourite among celebrities, including Martha Stewart, Dr. Phil and Rachel Ray. So Hash House A Gogo then is home to the city's best breakfast, including overside flapjacks, breakfast scrambles, signature hashes, farm benedicts and more. So to the food then. To begin, I wanted to try the crispy cornmeal fried tiger prawns, basically enormous shrimp. Truly meaty and fresh. Next came the cob salad, utterly delicious and one of my favourite highlights of the meal. Finally, the slow-cooked barbecue spare ribs were very, very tasty and looked lovely on the plate. I'm still a little confused why everything has to be dressed with deep-fried noodle sticks and rosemary. Bizarre. Tasteless. But what do I know? Next came the crispy fried fresh salmon. Sadly, the vegetables were cold, but the mash was delicious. To me, fresh salmon is wonderful and shouldn't be covered in batter. I'm just very old-fashioned, I suppose. The HHAGG lemon chicken was moist, tender and flavoursome. Piled high with mash, this was a huge dish. The burger, though, was really excellent. The sweet potato fries set the dish off perfectly with tomato sauce on the side. The bun was light and the burgers, of which there were two, were moist and delicious. With lettuce, onion and tomato, this may well be one of the best items on the menu. Next came the sage fried chicken benedict. This dish was highly rated by Man V Food. It's a ludicrous portion, including mashed potato, melon, fried chicken with sage, spinach, bacon, tomato, mozzarella and chipotle sauce. The dish has a kick and the chicken was truly delicious. Could have easily fed two, three or possibly six or seven people. This was a unique and vibrant dish. Finally, don't miss desserts at Hash House Agogo. The chocolate waffle with ice cream could feed a family of four. It's huge. Hash House cheesecake is another huge affair. Finally, I was slightly confused by the fresh strawberry shortcake, made with seemingly the same bread as the pre-appetizer amuse-bouche. It's novel, and if you like your biscuit at the beginning and the end of your meal, it's perfect. Finally, the s'mores cappuccino was remarkable. I'd love to meet the person who could finish this. Once again, it's served in what looks like the world's biggest cup and packed with utter indulgence. I can't even imagine the calorie count. Mind-boggling. If you love marshmallows and coffee, this is definitely for you. Hash House of Go-Go is fun, exciting and a wonderful dining experience that you will talk about and remember forever. What it lacks in sophistication, delicate flavours and refinement, it makes up for in portion size and talkability. For good and for bad, this is an extraordinary eatery of epic proportions. Find out more by googling Hash House A Go-Go Las Vegas. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.3 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!